Hello everyone and welcome back to the final Earth 2. Now last time we completed the story mode if you like of the game. Uh, we've completed all the scenarios. So we're going to start into free play today. So yeah the, these so that's what five scenarios we completed them all. Um, so today we're going to be starting the free play. Now there are a few free play options. Was that seven of them? Um, but I think the one we're going to go for is random mini worlds. Um, now, certain resources normal, extra, or unlimited. Well, we won't go for unlimited because I mean, yeah, then that removes like some of the challenge. So I think. We'll go for we'll go for extra, you know, make it a bit more fun. Start of Citizens three ten. Um, we'll go for five hundred, and then most buildings unlocked, um, so that we can get straight to it. All right, so let's go and let's see. Welcome to this free play scenario. Few are already here. Some will be some will arrive over the coming days. So yeah, um, we kind of need to build houses soon. So these are our mini worlds, uh, there's plenty of them. And I plan on having no um, like landing pads or anything. At least, you know, not like, I'm not saying right now, but uh, you know, by the end, I plan on having no landing pads and just having teleporters every five blocks like I had in the other one. All right, so let's start here. Um, let's see, we have, I assume that was 2,500. Oh, well, they haven't, yeah. I assume that's 2,500. It was until they ate nine of them. 1,000, 1,500, 100. Perfect, and we already have graphene there, so if we build that straight, oh wow, okay, so we have some things. We didn't even have the alien farm before. Grows. Strange purple cups, which is more food for each adjacent alien house, not affected by lab technology. Interesting. Okay. Huh. Alright, well, let's start by building some houses, because we really need them. Uh, actually, well, first let's build a wood cutting centre and a stone mine, because we do not want to be stuck with no water stone. Now, all right, let's see. Like we're gonna have a massive unhappiness um, for, for the first little while. Yeah, so they're working half the normal speed because most of them are homeless. Now I'm actually going to set all of these to, um, yeah, cut down and uproot. Um, no, we'll, set, we'll leave them at cut down and regrow for the moment. Yeah, I'll leave them cut down and regrow at the moment. What's this? We've even have some houses we didn't have before. Under water house, I live among the fishes. Futuristic house. Lovely. Okay. So, let's see. I mean, I think... The best thing to do is probably just spend, like before we unpause the game, just build as many houses as we can and we need to make sure they're all connected, otherwise, well, there's kind of no point then. Yeah, so like, these houses, they can't reach them at the moment. Um, not until... Get rid of some stuff here. Uh, right, I'm actually going to... Well, no, because if I delete them, then those are just resources gone. We won't gain them back, so I won't do that uh, yet. Now, we must remember to make sure that they can actually fly, because... Um, like, that was stupid to place them there, because... Oops.
right, I'm just going to finish out this row. And so we actually have enough now, which is fantastic. So, um, that's, we will, ooh, we will need food because, uh, so let's, nope, where are they? Eco farms. Use food sustainably, also doing a small amount of nature and entertainment happiness. Lovely. All right, so. Camp, uh, if we. Oh no, they won't be able to reach this now. And I won't even be able to reach those farms at all. Until... Something here goes. Well, actually, hold on, let's see if I... Nope. Hey, alright, perfect. Well, no, they still can't reach that. Hold on. Um, hmm. Let's build a landing pad there. All right, cool. So now they can at least reach that. All right. Oh, I didn't realize there was one there. Okay, so we didn't need them to be able to reach that one. Well, at least, you know. <sighs> okay, fine. That's good enough. Um, all right, we desperately need more jobs. So, more water cutting centers. Um, since we can technically build up infinitely, I'm going to try to set myself a challenge of, like, this row here is the highest I can build. I can't build anything above that. Just because, I mean, you know, there needs to be some sort of challenge to this. Because um, if we ever just build up infinitely, then, well, there goes half the challenge. But I can't reach that at all. Um, I'm going to cut down an uproot. Some of them I'm going to set to cut down an uproot. Um, I'm just, just going to set them all to cut down an uproot. Uh, parents and schools. Oh, right, yeah, I forgot about that. Um, okay. Uh, schools, uh, mm hmm. Uh, right, I can build more. Since they're unhappy, because we've no food. Fantastic. All right, we need to grow more food. Uh, eco farms. And we've run out of wood. Great. Uh, I'm gonna build one there. Yeah, okay, so they're all set to cut down and uproot, which is nice. Um, we will need to make sure that we build some of these early enough. Um, because we don't want... Uh, we, we don't want them to run out of wood and we also need to build rock teleporters. Hmm. We're not going to destroy you because then I won't get you back. But I can just... Never mind, I can't cover you up because we're out of food. Right. Um... Wait, where is that discovery center? Or school, rather. Oh yeah, right, because I can't... I can't reach that. Okay. Alright. Uh, build more... Nope, not you. Eco farms. All the way down from here.
I mean, they can't even reach any of that at all, so let's plop down a landing pad. Where's the eco farms? There they are. Okay, so, yeah, this is one of the problems we started fought with 500 citizens. Food very quickly becomes an issue, um, as does housing. Um, I'm going to start... Oh, well, I can't set the thing until I have the medical centers. Uh... There we go. All right, well, they, now they can access the school and those farms. Great. For the moment, we don't need to worry about priorities because we don't even have enough jobs with the amount of people we have. Um, you're gone, so I'll build more houses. Uh, never mind, I can't because we're out of food. Stone, sure. Well, actually, the Pioneer's Hut. Cain, uh, I mean... Sure. Um, all right. Let's see. I mean, we have, we do have plenty of space to work with. It's just a matter of because there's so many, like forests and rocks and alien ruins all over the place. It's just a matter of actually getting to those islands because I don't want to just be placing down like a million landing pads. I want to try and do this where I'm connecting them with other um, buildings when possible. Uh, like here, now I can build um, more... Oh, unhappy. I know. Wood cutting centers. A few more stone mines. Lovely. Alright. Um, Let's see, we need more farms, so if we build, we prioritize that. Um, let's see. Because then that would allow us to connect this here, which would be nice. So it's wood we're out of, okay. Um, no wood cutting centers in that case. When I say the build limit, that includes the landing pad, so I won't be able to place one there and have a landing pad up there. Um, so I just need to be careful of that. Uh, please the A. Excellent. Alright. We're going to just build a bunch of um, basic houses and we can upgrade them later just because we really need housing. And it's cheap and also doesn't cost food, which at the moment is our most wanted resource. Farms there and there. For the moment, we're gonna just have a lot of people walking to and from their jobs, um, which you know isn't ideal. But there's nothing else we can really do. Um, oh, we need more houses. We've no wood. I know they're unhappy. I know. It's because they're starving. It shouldn't be surprised to us at this point. Ah, if only this was one lower, I'd be able to 
do that because I don't want to cover this up. And then now I can do. Well, no, I can't because that needs to go. Okay, more wood cutting centers. Oh, but everyone already has a job at this point. I'm gonna set that to max, that to max, because we need it. Those are one each, because for the moment we're doing fine on stone. You, uh, we kind of need this. Yeah, we, we really need, um, all right, let's see what else can we do here, um, Never mind. I was gonna see if I could follow the guy with the unhappy sign, with the frowny face sign, but I guess not. Okay. Ruins. Oh right, because you don't have any discovery centers. Now we do. Lovely. Oh, this looks like a mess, but there's nothing else we can do. Um. Yeah. Once we get the workshop, what is it? Yeah, workshop. And once we have all of those, uh, so it's, we just need 500, which will take a long time considering that we have currently have zero. Um, but once you get to 500, then then we can start destroying stuff like these landing pads and just have everyone walk everywhere, which I know will slow down production somewhat, but would also not limit us at all in what we can put where. Uh, also, this run, to make it a bit more interesting, I might try... Oh. Huh. Footbridge connects two buildings and most three pieces apart. Uh, spaceship and landing pads can travel through it. These two buildings must. So there's no real difference between these two, other than this one is a lot cheaper. Uh, if your food runs out, oh, we need this. We need that right now. Um, so yeah, there's kind of no difference between these two, although the fact that this is a lot, lot cheaper. Um, Oh, so that's only parks and botanical gardens. And I mean, well, you know, it's not exactly much, much better. But yeah, so I want to primarily try use... Um, I want to not use teleporters at all. Teleporters or landing pads. I mean, I could use landing, the indoor landing pads and spaceship tunnels. I can use them if I want to. Um, but I think I'm going to mainly focus on train stations along with high-speed rails and then the hyper elevators. Um, this is all horizontal movement and this is all vertical movement. So I could place like a train station every 10 blocks and then have a hyper elevator next to it or something. Uh, well, I mean... Yeah, like... I mean, yeah, this would be great because we could place them, you know, a good bit apart and have the hyper elevator next to it. Uh, but this, if you wanted to do that, then if you wanted to use the high speed rails, we wouldn't be able to without sacrificing a lot of buildings. So we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll figure something out for the moment. We just need to focus on not having sad citizens. I don't think they can reach there. Alright, um, 
I think we're going to leave it here for today's video. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how this comes along. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching. And I'll see you later. Bye!